We are recording now. We'll still need the roll call vote, correct? Uh, yes, we will need a, a roll call to establish whether or not we have formed to proceed for some of the items. Um, I know that if there's a close, if the closed session, if we go to it, that would need a vote. Um, so we would need a quorum for that. Um, and so, yes, we, we would, um, somebody would call the meeting to order, which usually would be chair Adams, although I don't believe that he is, is present, uh, right now. And so I don't know if Melinda is, is talking to him, but, um, we would need a formal call to order of the meeting and then a roll call. New face, Miss Lloyd, Nikki Lloyd. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you for having me. Okay, so here's um where we are as of right now. Um, Commissioner Adams will not be attending, so I will um, and I haven't got a word back from Commissioner Ormstead. So I will go ahead and just um, begin the meeting um, with the roll call. And once I complete that, then Chancel, I will give um, everything over to you, okay? Okay. Second. Um, okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the HRC session. Sorry, sorry, Howard was, was trying to yeah. say something. Melinda, um, one of the one of the commission members will have to call us to order. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I call the St. Louis County Housing Resources Commission to order for Monday, June 24th, 2024 at approximately 1.37. Thank you, Commissioner Hayes. Okay, I will begin roll call. Commissioner Cohen. Present. Commissioner Gannon. Wait, did you hear me? Present. Oh, thank you. Commissioner Whitlock. Present. Commissioner Lloyd. Commissioner Lloyd. Gotcha. I got you. Okay. Thank you. Commissioner Hayes. Present. Commissioner Jordan. It is noted that she is not present. Commissioner Armstead. <clears throat> it is noted that she is not present. And Commissioner Adams. It is noted that he is not present. It's been determined that we have um, five commissioners present, so we have a quorum. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Chancia, um, you can have the floor at this time. Good afternoon. We have, give, give me a second. We have um, received an introduction from our newest commissioner, Desiree Whitlock. Now, uh, we want to check on the audio for Commissioner Nikki Lloyd for just a brief couple of seconds background and an official welcome. And Mr. Hayes, just because we just started the meeting, could we have uh, Ms. Whitlock also introduce herself again as well? I realize some of us were present, but the meeting had not officially started. Perhaps we could have both of them introduce themselves to the agenda okay. item. Uh, makes sense. So, um, the first bullet I have is Ms. Lloyd, and then uh, Ms. Whitlock will present another summary. So, okay. Ms. Lloyd, again, welcome, and just a bit about uh, who you are. Hi, I'm with Lauren Lloyd, and I, I don't, are you guys looking for like employment information, or what would you like me to share? Um, just. Um, who you are 
um, current, past um, employers, ownership, background, why you wanted to be with us. <laughs> Whatever you want to say, it's your floor. Okay. I am currently an assistant principal. I've been in the field of education for 19 years. And this is my first year as an administrator. Well, I just finished my first year as an administrator. So that was pretty exciting for me. And um, my husband is also a pastor. We have uh, three children and I am just interested in being part of the Housing Resource Commission so that I can help um, with the homeless population. I see people sleeping under bridges and um, just seeing people in those kinds of conditions. My heart goes out to them. So I would like to be instrumental in helping them uh, find housing and any other resources that they may need. So, any questions for Commissioner Lloyd? What, what school district? I am with the Riverview Gardens School District. That's that's perfect. Um, a lot of our target audience are among the students' families. So, um, meet all of you. And welcome again. And we'll move. And you'll see in a minute if you don't already know. We couldn't be more fortunate to have both you. And Desiree Whitlock. Desiree? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm Desiree Whitlock, and I am the um, I'm the education liaison to Dr. Sam Page. I work with several school districts, well, all the school districts, all 20, 23. I work with all the superintendents. I'm a former board member of Hazelwood School District. I served on that board from 03 until 2018. Um, one of the in, uh, an interest of mine has always been, uh, you know, our kids in regards to where they live, where they, you know, whether they have food, whether, uh, as far as sustainability is concerned, because we see a lot of homeless students. And that has been a, a major interest of mine. But then I also found <clears throat> that I live in one of those areas and where uh, there are individuals in that zip code, the same zip code that I live in, that basically are having some difficulties. And I would love to have information on resources and to be a part of making a difference. And that's all that I have. Thank you, Desiree. Thank you. Uh, and Ms. Lloyd, if you don't mind, um... Desi and I work together on North County Churches Unite for Racial Harmony. Yeah. Yeah, but I think more than that, uh, but I guess what, I, what I'm getting to is oh, okay. always address, um, you know, our leadership, the chairman as chairman, but among commissioners, I'm Howard um, and of course now Desi, and so, if you don't mind, uh, we'll just say Nikki. Uh, and of course, um, in more formal settings, uh, it is commissioner. Okay. Boy. So, in the meeting, we can address each other first name, but in a formal setting, it's always commissioner. First name or commissioner first commissioner, commissioner last, last name. name. Okay. Last name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the leadership is addressed. Can you repeat that again, please? Um, as chairman. Chairman. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Chairman and last name. Yep. Chairman and last name. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So uh, I suppose we move to item three. Director of Human Services, Howard Hayes. That's me. Uh, I am a commissioner. However, it's a unique setting for me in that my staff provides 
administrative support. And also, uh, the language is that support is a component of um, Shannon, Shannon's organization at the St. Louis, um, how, pardon me, St. Louis County Housing Authority. And so we'll look at that going forward. But if I think in terms of the establishment of um, the task force for the Affordable Housing Trust, the original executive order said, whereas for over a century, African Americans in St. Louis County have endured housing policies and development strategies that have trapped generations of some families in segregated and disinvested neighborhoods. So um, a part of our mission strategy is to address those decades old policies of leaving certain St. Louis Countyans out of it. Um, and as you know, wealth creation <coughs> to um, sustainability. And often if you don't have that foundational piece of a home, you cannot create wealth, which can often lead to the unhoused. So the work we do is important. Uh, Desi, Nikki, welcome you here and your voices are needed. So thank you for agreeing to be a part of the commission. Thank you. So I see closed session, uh, Mac. And, and part yes. of me. Yes, uh, Commissioner Hayes. Um, so essentially for this, I know that this is, is new to um, both Ms. Whitlock, sorry, uh, Commissioner Whitlock and Commissioner Lloyd. Um, so just explaining the process of a closed session. So um, I know I introduced myself to Ms. Whitlock earlier. I'm Matt Callanan with the County Counselor's Office. I'm an attorney here. Um, and so at times where you need to speak for me for legal advice, um, we would do that in closed session. So this meeting is a public session. As you've heard, it's being recorded. Uh, minutes are being taken. But any time that I'm giving advice to the commission, um, it would be done via closed session. And so just procedurally, this is the first time um, we have noticed it up on the agenda for a closed session, and so we would need somebody so that I can give uh, certain legal advice to you. Um, we would need a motion and then a second, and then we would do a roll call vote on this to be able to enter closed session, um, at which stage we'll enter closed session, and I will give you the, the <coughs> legal advice um, that it, the reason that, that that is on the agenda today. Um, so, um, Commissioner Hayes, we would need a, a motion and a, a second. And a roll call vote to proceed into closed session. Okay, and for uh, Desi and Nikki, I want you to know that these appointments you have by County Executive Page are of weight and significance. And so we're peers. The commissioners may address each other by their first name, but all staff ought to address you as commissioner. So, um, and I'm stepping in for the chairman, so you help me if I if I need. Uh, I move that we move to closed session. Second. A second. So I apologize, um, Commissioner okay. Hayes. Is that you have to cite the the ordinance as it's stated there, so you would put the reason that you're requesting a closed session, uh, which is okay. on the agenda. No, that's fine. Um, I move under. I move pursuant to section 610.021 RSMO and section 114.020.1 St. Louis County revised ordinance. I move that we uh, enter into closed session. Is there a second? Second. Melinda, could we have a roll call vote, please? Okay. So any roll call? Commissioner Lloyd. Second. Is that what I'm supposed to say? Or here. Here. I'm sorry. So it would be in favor. So it would be a, a yes uh, for the vote. Are you in favor to go into a closed session? I'm in favor. Thank you. Commissioner, Whit Commissioner Whitlock? Yes. Commissioner Gannon? Yes. Commissioner Hayes? Yes. Commissioner 
Cohen. Yes. Commissioner Armstead. It's noted that she is not present. Commissioner Jordan. It's noted they are not. She is not present. And Commissioner Adams. It is noted that he is not present as well. We have um, a quorum to move into closed session. Hey, from IT, would it be possible for you to put us in a breakout room for closed session? Yes, absolutely. Is there anybody that should not be included in that? I sent you the names um, of the people. Did you need them? Again, I, mean, uh, I, I had pre assigned. I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't somebody else here that needed that needed to join. No, no, no. Yeah, the people that I gave you is the, the people that should be there. Okay, let me hit the let's see here. And while you do that, Dan, I'll go ahead and put my sign up for anyone that's out in the in the public that, um, okay. Everyone that sees that breakout session started, join now. Please click on that. I don't see it, um, Melinda. Uh, Chelsea, if you didn't get it, then um, then you can't go into the closed session. Mm -hmm. It's only for the commissioners and the attorney. Mm -hmm. I think staff is not included in that. Yes, okay. that's correct, because it's um, only pertaining to the commissioner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to be very brief in the orientation overview and the strategic plan overview. Because I think you said, Melinda, that they were to just take the information and, you know, have time to be able to read over it over a period of time. Okay. How long is the closed session? I'm not quite sure. It just depends on how long um, it takes the attorney to give his information. Mm -hmm. Don't see my camera showing, but I gotta put this sign up real quick, and I can't. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Mm 
All right. <laughs> it looks like everyone is back. Okay. Melinda, uh, the next time you communicate with Chairman Adams, please forward to him that uh, Shannon, Terry, and I are doing the best we can in his absence, okay? Absolutely will. Okay. So we're back in open session. Um, Matt, can we move to uh, item five, orientation PowerPoint, or what do we need to do? Yes, Commissioner Hayes, you can move on to the, the agenda. Okay. Shamsil, you ready? Yes, I am. Good afternoon again to all commissioners uh, that are present and um, welcome to Commissioners Lloyd and uh, Whitlock. Make sure I got that. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yes. Can you all hear me? No, I can. Okay, okay. Thank you. So once again, uh, welcome. And I'm going to be very brief. Um, uh, as I understand, Melinda sent all of this information uh, in advance. And so it's a wealth of information that you will probably be reading and referring to for a period of time. So my objective was just to give a brief overview of both uh, the orientation and just speak to the strategic, uh, the strategic plan. And so um, the orientation packet is broken down into six sections. So we're going to just start with the historical. And that just basically deals with the mission of the Housing Resource Commission, which is uh, St. Louis County is dedicated to affirmatively promoting equitable housing and opportunities for all. And then it speaks to the purpose um, for uh, the commission. And then the orientation packet moves on to affordable housing. And there you will find resources and data regarding equality and equity in regards to affordable housing. So we're on the orientation packet now, um, Melinda. And then the next section of the orientation packet, it deals with data and uh, some more data around housing, homeless. And um, uh, this data is critical to helping us and uh, homeless services and our St. Louis County continuum of care and making data driven decisions in regards to how the um, the funding is to be appropriated. But uh, annually every year, um, St. Louis County and all continuum of cares across the United States are mandated by HUD to do what is called an annual point in time. And that is done in January. And that data is significant in that it actually gives us a snapshot of uh, the homeless uh, in St. Louis County in regards to the sheltered and the unsheltered. That's inside of the orientation packet, uh, Melinda. Um, you only get out of this one or you want to go? Yes, you can. And basically, you don't have to go through uh, um, because the commissioners, uh, okay. they actually have the orientation packet. Uh, okay. And I'm hoping that everyone have had an opportunity to just review the documents uh, and uh, the information that I'm sharing. Uh, because, like I said, that's the objective. It's some excellent information, and it's a lot, you know, just to continue to reference and look through. Uh, our, for, our our current commissioners uh, have this information, and we just wanted to make sure that our new commissioners had the information to be able to uh, review. But I do want to share in regards to, like I was just speaking to the point in time, it's an annual um, event that takes place where volunteers, uh, homeless staff, and uh, continuum of care actually go out on the streets during the winter and count 
individuals that are homeless, those that are unsheltered and those that are actually inside our emergency shelters that are funded by St. Louis County, but not only our funded agencies, but all of the agencies in St. Louis County that provide services. So this year, when we did our point in time count, we actually had 1,311 individuals that were considered um, homeless. And um, we, no, we, I'm sorry, we had 1,311 1, total beds uh, that were available to the homeless. And that was through our funded agencies and all of the agencies in St. Louis County that provide some type of emergency shelter. But on the actual night of the, uh, the night before the count, the 25th, and then the actual day, we actually counted those who were in emergency uh, shelter on that day of the uh, point in time. And that's where we had 1,285 individuals that were inside of uh, our shelter, uh, that were unhoused, that were uh, in rapid rehousing uh, and permanent supportive housing. So when you get a chance, it's some excellent data and information to look at. Uh, and as I stated, we uh, use that data uh, to um, to help us to make data driven decisions. So that information I just uh, shared was in regards to our housing inventory chart. And so when we actually did the point in time, we had a total of 452 individuals, 360 persons were uh, in the emergency shelter and 92 were uh, uh, considered unsheltered. Uh, the next that you have within your orientation packet is the affordable housing trust fund. And here again, it just gives some more data and information in regards to the housing um, affordable trust fund, the purpose of it and the exact role and responsibility of the commission in regards to the affordable housing trust fund. And then also we have within the orientation packet is the strategic plan. And I'm going to move forward with the strategic plan, but the strategic plan, uh, it focused on, it's a five-year plan and it's a guide to help and assist us enforce how we would expand our direct HUD funding. And not only the HUD funding, but also the Housing Resource Commission funding. And as I stated, the Affordable Housing Trust Fund. And there you will find a link that will lead you to that affordable housing uh, trust fund and the publication of it. And then finally, in your orientation package, you have a section that deals with finance and contract compliance. And this speaks directly to how, when the money is allocated through the Housing Resource Commission, that uh, how we internally monitor those agencies from a, a contractual and a program compliance. And we actually use HUD federal regulations to assist us in ensuring that our agencies are compliant um, with uh, the regulations uh, in regards to the Housing Resource Commission funding. So as I stated, I just wanted to kind of give an overview of what that packet entailed, the orientation packet. And, um, and if you ever have any questions or need clarification, we are always here uh, as homeless service staff uh, we're under the Office of Community Development and also our division manager, uh, Amy Ellis. The team is always here to support and uh, address any questions that you may have. Thank you. You're most welcome. Hi. Now I would like to move to the strategic plan. Um, and as, as I stated, I'm going to, it is the Affordable Housing Homeless Services five-year strategic plan, and I'm going to just do an overview uh, of that. But to draw your attention to the executive summary, uh, which is on page one, just basically the key strategic uh, priority areas, and I am going to speak to those, uh, build a foundation for uh, intentional change, improve 
uh, housing stability, expand access to housing options, and facilitate mobility to areas of opportunity, and then develop the Affordable Housing Trust Fund as a new revenue source for avoid affordable housing uh, investment. Another part um, of that um, strategic plan, uh, page six, uh, excellent information, housing in St. Louis County, and a lot of data and information in regards to uh, housing uh, in St. Louis County. And um, in regards to affordable housing and addressing that whole issue. Next, uh, I wanted to speak to the St. Louis County Affordable Housing Trust Fund, and you can see that on page 15, and it just gives a breakdown of the mm -hmm. data informed uh, funding priorities and just some strategies in regards to investment and dealing with affordable housing. Um, page 16 speaks to the funding, and this is a, some more critical information. Not only does it speak to the Housing Resource Commission funding, but it also speaks to all of the funding that we receive directly uh, in Department of Human Services for to help with and assist housing. So we have the Community Development um, Black Grant. Uh, we have the um, um, Housing Resource Commission the uh, continuum of care funding and the emergency solution grant funding. So this just speaks to all of the different funding that we have and the purpose of the funding, the activities, and then our community partners that we work with to help us execute these services, you know, through the funding that they receive. Um, uh, page 19 of the strategic plan speaks to the Housing Resource Commission strategic priorities. And, um, and the things that the uh, commission should be focusing on uh, overall. And then lastly, I would like to speak to the strategic uh, framework. And so it just speaks to uh, our focus and the framework that we have around uh, affordable housing uh, uh, and addressing the whole issue of affordable housing and, home and homelessness in St. Louis County. And that's basically my presentation. Like I said, the objective was just to give an overview, not to go through it in detail. And that if you all had any questions that we could address or clarify for you today, we would be more than glad to do so. But knowing that uh, our doors are open always, uh, if you should have questions about this, and this is something that we really encourage the commissioners to revisit these documents, to review them thoroughly, look at a lot of the resources in regards to data and like I said, which helps us to make data-driven decisions based on actually what's happening uh, with the clients that we serve. And I wanted to be very mindful of time. And so that's my presentation. Lucia, thank you. Mm -hmm. And as the year unfolds, the commissioners will hear more from Shansia. But Shansia's section is a part of Amy Ellis's Division. Amy, would you introduce yourself to the commissioners, please? Sure. My name is Amy Ellis, and I'm the division manager of the Office of Community Development. Um, and we oversee HUD grants as well as I work in partnership with the COC and, of course, the HRC. And it's a pleasure to meet both of you. Pleasure to meet you too. So Matt, that um, concludes our presentation and our agenda. Our next item is housing resource next meeting, July 18th, 2024, 9 a.m. Of course, materials will be sent out to the commissioners on that. And so with that, Matt, is it okay for us to adjourn, Matt? Um, Yes, Commissioner Hayes, uh, what you would do for that, you would do a, a motion in a second, and then it's just a simple vote of affirmation um, to end the meeting. Thank you. I'll I make move. a motion. We adjourn the meeting. <laughs> have to have a motion first. <laughs> have to have a motion first. But I, I appreciate your excitement. <laughs> so, I move that uh, the meeting is adjourned and we have a second. 
Second. Okay. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Terry? Yeah, I said aye. Oh, I'm sorry, you were frozen. Um, okay, well then the motion carries. We'll now adjourn. And um, that is it. I, um, again, welcome all of our new members and our chairman, uh, Chairman Adams, should um, be attending our next meeting. Okay. Have a great rest of the day, everyone. Okay. Bye-bye. Well, everyone. Thank you. Bye -bye.